And almost all of our damage is happening from what the scientist calls a secondary effect, that shaking that travels out from the earthquake uh, and shakes our houses. Just like when I snap my fingers, I'm moving two surfaces past each other with frictional resistance. I overcome the friction and I release energy in the form of a sound wave. Okay. Uh, the same thing's going on with the fault, with the fault moving and the waves moving out from there. We measure that movement with what is called the modified Mercalli intensity scale. Okay. This is not magnitude. This is a, a, a subjective description of the amount of, of damage that you receive. It goes from not felt um, it, at intensity one, uh, up through felt by everyone and wakened up at five, starting to get significant damage at seven, at nine, even specially designed structures might be coming down. And, uh, and 10 is the most extreme when you're right on top of a big fault. So whereas there's one magnitude for an earthquake, there are multiple intensities and they're shown with the map. And what I'm showing on here on the on the right of the picture is the map of intensities for the Northridge earthquake. And the square is showing you where the fault is because this fault didn't go vertically into the earth, it dipped at an angle. So much of the Western uh, San Fernando Valley was literally on top of the earthquake and got a lot of this shaking. 